A little over a week away from Election Day, in the race, people will cast their vote for who they want to run as the state's next governor. This week, 7 News is profiling the top six candidates, Jeff Landry, Sean Wilson, Stephen Wagaspak, John Schroeder, Hunter Lundy, and Sharon Hewitt. Tonight, we're hearing from Wilson and Lundy. Jade Morrow reports. Sean Wilson is the governor's race lone Democratic candidate. He spent 25 years in public service and in March retired from his position as secretary of the Department of Transportation. Public service has been my ministry. Um, I understand the value of what government can do. I've got an undergraduate degree in planning and a PhD in public policy. The reality is um, there are four things that we need to work for and that's what I'm committed to doing as governor. Wilson says his campaign targets what he calls kitchen table issues. He'll focus on making people safer, smarter, healthier and wealthier. Safer in terms of making sure your property is protected, that your life is protected, making sure that we have a workforce that's trained uh, and educated from zero to four and fully funding early childhood education, making sure that we maintain Medicaid expansion, that people can be healthy. And of course, you can't be a wealthy person if you don't earn. And so those three things of being safer, smarter and healthier absolutely translate to us being a more wealthier state. And Lake Charles attorney Hunter Lundy owned his own firm for 36 years before deciding to run for governor. He's running as an independent. So I'm going in as, as a leader, as someone who is a good advocate, who's someone who's not beholden to anybody, any political party whatsoever. I got out of political party years ago. Lundy says he's committed to increasing teacher and first responder pay, as well as improving education he feels will benefit several of the state's dilemmas. We're going to attack poverty. We're going to reduce the blighted communities we have throughout the state. And, uh, and we're going to reduce incarceration. So 80% of your, your people that are incarcerated are getting back into the community. So they need to be able to go back and they need to be able to read and write, have a GED, have a trade, be able to be productive citizens. So I've always said from the beginning, because we're the number one two poverty state in the nation, and that we have some of the highest incarceration rates, that we can use our education to do that. Jade Morrow, 7 News. Tune in to later editions of 7 News Nightcast to hear from the other governor candidates. You can find more on this race as well as other local races under the election tab at kplctv.com. Next, the